In this video, we're going to learn how to solve for unknowns in a singular 3 by 3 matrix. So singular just means that the determinant is equal to 0. Like in this case, we've been told to solve for x if the determinant is equal to 0. So for you to get the determinant of a 3 by 3, you just consider the first uh, row. So you start by taking uh, the first term or the first entry in that row. In this case, that is x minus 2. And then you multiply that by the determinant of the small matrix that is left when you cover the row and the column in which this is. So if you cover that and that, you're going to be left with x minus 2, 0, 4. x minus 2, 0, and 4. And then you're going to subtract the next entry, which is 2 in this case. And again, you cover its row and its column. Then you're left with negative 1, negative 2. And you're also left with 2, 4. And then you're going to add the last one in that row, that is 2. And when you cover the row and the column, you're left with negative 1, x. You're left with 2, 0. So when you evaluate that determinant, it is equal to zero because we are dealing with uh, a singular matrix. So let us simplify this. So we have x minus two, and then this determinant is obtained by getting the product between the main diagonal and subtracting that of the other diagonal. So in the main diagonal, we have x times four, which is just four x. And then we have negative two times zero, which is just zero. Then we have minus, here we have minus 1 times 4, which is minus 4, minus negative 2 times 2, which is uh, negative 4, so that is plus 4. And then here we have 2 into minus 1 times 0, which is just 0, then minus x uh, times 2, that is 2x, and that's equal to 0. So let us just simplify what we have. So here we have x minus 2 times 4x, that is 4x into x minus 2. Then we have minus 2 into minus 4 plus 4, that is 0, plus 2 into minus 2x, and that's equal to 0. So now, now for the first case, we have 4x squared minus 8x and then 2 times 0 is just 0 so we're left with 2 times negative 2x that is minus 4x and that's equal to 0. So let us simplify this further. So we're going to have 4x squared minus minus uh, 8x minus 4x that is uh, 12x is equal to 0. So we can look for the common factor between these two, which is just 4x. So you have 4x into x, and 4x goes here three times, and that's equal to 0. So according to this, uh, the product between this term and that term is 0. So it means one of them has to be 0. So if you take that 4x is equal to 0, then you're going to have x being equal to 0. Or we could take that x minus 3 is equal to 0, and that means x is equal to 3. So x is 0 or x is 3. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.